Hello. I know nobody's in here because you guys are all probably waiting for me on the other one. I'm going to see if I can go over there and if I can find it because um, a problem with it. So, yeah. Um, sorry, guys. Just give me one second. Yeah, okay, the other one's already, the other one's already closed down. So, all right, all right. Sorry about being late, guys. I'm having some issues here. I don't know what was going on with it. It was like, wouldn't let me, um, my chat wouldn't work. And so I went out of it. Like I closed my whole browser and then went back into it. And then my video was just gone. And so it was like, um, I don't know what's going on with, with it. YouTube confusing the heck out of me as always. So I was like, well, I'll just start a new one and um, hope for the best that, you know, everybody gets the notification that we are now over here and not um, on the original one that I made. It's annoying when it does that, but you know, whatever, whatever you, it is, what it is. So how is everybody tonight on this incredibly snowy, snowy, snowy night here where I am? It is, we got eight plus inches yesterday and we're supposed to get more tomorrow. I don't know how much more tomorrow, but more. Which, uh, I don't mind the snow, like, super bad, but um, I don't like when we get, like, just to completely dumped on. That's when it, that's when it crosses the line for me into being annoying. Um, so, yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to finish up one thing really quickly because I was having an issue earlier, so I couldn't do it. Um, do, do, do. Okay, one sec, guys. Sorry. There we go. Okay. Well, that's not what I meant to say. Okay. <clears throat> I should be able to now use my chat on my computer. I shouldn't have to use my phone was like almost dead too. So I was like, crap, I need, I need to have be able to read chat. And I couldn't read chat with my phone when it like was almost dead. And so anyways, but I got it all figured out. So I think we're good now. So, um, let's see who we got in here. Hello, Safira's mama and Kim D. Baker. Um, yeah, the the <laughs> there's no way I'm gonna be able to say your name. R. M. Dezan to 32. Hello, hello. Jill, Nicole, um, Melody, welcome. Um, well, Melody, you you're more than welcome to have it. Um, but really, millennial, just kidding. I only hate it when I have to go out in it. Yeah, see, that's a lot of people, I think. I think a lot of people don't mind it, like, just in general, because, honestly, snow is beautiful. Um, it's when you have to go out and, do, like, you know, walk in it or shovel it or drive in it. That's when people seem to, like, get annoyed with snow. But um, I literally took my – I took driver's ed in the winter time. And I got my license. I took the driver's test in like the middle of like the worst conditions there could be. Um, like the roads were super slippery that day. And I actually like slid partway into a four way like stop intersection. And I remember thinking, um, I just flunked this test. Like there's no way. And the gal told me, she's like, you did just as good at stopping that as anybody could do. 
and she didn't mark me down for it at all. But anyway, so yeah, I, I learned to drive in the winter, so I really don't have an issue driving in the winter time, but it's other people that make me nervous when I have to go out and drive because, you know, not everybody is very good. And especially people who have four wheel drive that think that they can just plow through it, which they can't. But four-wheel drive does not help you stop. So you, yeah, you can't expect it to help you stop. Um, yeah, anyways. So Safira says she's just, oh, it's Sunday, Sunday afternoon where you are. Okay, yeah, that's weird. Um, that's just, it, it feels weird when it's like 6 p.m. on Saturday night and it's Sunday afternoon there. Um, Nicole says, you have been lazy, except on Happy Dance. Um, let's see. And we used to get a lot of snow, but not much anymore. I do very idiots that don't realize four-wheel drive doesn't save them on ice. Exactly. That's when, and yet, and I went grocery shopping yesterday and I had to go because I had to pick up a prescription and it was like in the middle of when it was just like, like dumping snow on us and the drive home was insane. Norm, like a, normally it would take me 10 minutes to get from the grocery store to home. It took me 40 minutes because there was so much traffic and the roads were horrible. So yeah, it was horrible. Um, Jamie Sue says, hello, hope you all are having a great evening. Um, but yeah, so it was, it was really bad yesterday and it's not, it's not as bad now because, well, when I went out earlier, I went to the post office earlier, um, uh, this morning and the roads were literally just wet, but I don't know. They're probably starting to freeze up now because it's you know, dark and, um, the sun has gone down obviously. So I would imagine that the roads are getting slick out there, but this morning they were just wet because it got up to like 36 degrees or something earlier. And so, yeah, I didn't, um, have a problem earlier, but that's why I was like, I need to get my errands done before it gets dark because I don't want to go out when it's, when it's dark. Because that means the roads will be bad. B. Baker says, I feel like our snow plows were broken or something. It looks like they haven't done crap. Hmm. That's not good. Our snow plows were working overtime. That's for sure. Because they got a lot done. Except for the side roads. Um, yeah. The side roads were insane. But... Thank you, D. Baker. I love it, too. Um, Mallory gave this to me from uh, Diamond Artworks. And I can't tip it too far because I don't want to spill. But um, so, yeah, it actually says, if you didn't see the unboxing of it, it says shine like a diamond. And then it has um, the diamond on it. So this is like my exact logo down to the font. It's um, and Extreme Designs did this, and she did an amazing, amazing job. Like, I I, I don't, I, it blows my mind. I, I don't understand how she does it. Um, but, man, it is awesome. And she sent the um, little earrings, which I think I might have put them somewhere. Do you guys ever do this? Like, I think I put them somewhere so I wouldn't lose them. And then I don't remember where I put them. That's like a typical thing for me to do. Um, I don't remember what I did with that. But I know they're safe. <laughs> they're just safe somewhere that I don't know. Um, hmm. Anyways. The earrings are gorgeous, too. They look just like the sparkly, um, like, right here. And they're the same color and everything. Unfortunately, my ears are incredibly sensitive, so I won't be able to wear them. Um, 
but that doesn't mean I won't be able to use them because I will be, I'm going to turn them into cover binders for myself. Um, and those will be my personal ones. Like those I will not sell, even though there are ones I say like, Oh, I'm going to keep this one for myself. And then somebody really likes it. So I sell it. Those ones not happening because they're gorgeous and they were made for me. So I will keep them. So Paris Mama says, yeah, I did that with my passport. I put it somewhere safe and now I can't find them. That is a little bit scarier than losing some earrings. Um, yeah, because a passport, that ain't cheap to go replace. I don't even have a passport because I've never needed one because I've never. Well, I have left the country, but it was like when I was really little and you didn't need a passport. Like you just needed your birth certificate and your parent and. Yeah, that was that. Um, where is my wax? Did you guys see, did any of you guys watch the unboxings um, from Devious? Um, oh, now I'm losing it. I'm, I'm losing my brain. Um, Devious Diamonds? Is that what it is? Ariel, are you not in here yet? Ariel's not in here yet. Um, those of you who didn't know. So the um, unboxing that I did the other day for my friend Ariel. She is the one that's typically in here. She is my moderator, um, not only on my YouTube channel, but in my Facebook group. And she has been with me since like before I even had a YouTube channel. Um, she's one of the people that kind of convinced me that I should make a YouTube channel. And, um, yeah, so she just opened a, um, Etsy store and it is called, I'm looking, I'm trying to find it. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, Devious Diamond Designs. So it's called Devious Diamond Designs. And um, she has some really, really cool stuff, you guys. Like, really cool stuff. Um, so if you didn't see that um, unboxing, this is... So she has a 3D printer that she's started making some stuff with. And she made this awesome funnel and it's like this gorgeous pink. And she also has gold um, and blue. I know she has blue too because ah, because she sent me some stuff. But anyways, this, if you especially use bags, this is like amazing, you guys. Seriously, it is so worth it. She sells it for only $10, which is a really good, a good deal to get a, like a good funnel. I got one off of AliExpress and it was so flimsy and crappy. I threw it away. Like I didn't even keep it, but this one is awesome. And the other thing that I'm getting out right now, two of the things actually that I'm going to be getting out is some of her stuff I've actually had on my um, diamond painting. I have hardly got a chance to diamond paint this week because I have just been slammed with um, orders, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, I haven't really had a chance to diamond paint. But I tell you, this is gonna be on my diamond painting every single time I do have a chance because um, it is just that cool. It's that cool. Let me get my other magnet out. And I, tur I turned it into a cover minder, which she, I believe she said that she has the option to do. She just forgot to do it on the one she sent me. But this is a little, um, it's just a little stand. And you can put your multi-placers in. Isn't that awesome? Uh, so, yeah, you can have it as a cover minder. So, you've got all of your multi-placers sitting right there with you. Um, and you can get to them easily. I love it. It's a great, great idea. And my favorite though, my favorite thing from her shop was the, um, the little heart 
wax holder because it's inside. Isn't that awesome? And I've been meaning to try this wax, actually. I'm not sure what kind it is because it has a pinkish look to it because of, but I'm not sure if that's because of the, um, the pink, the, the pink like thing. Cause it's like a really light pink, almost pearl look to it. But anyways, um, and I turned that into a cover matter too, because well, I turn everything into, um, uh, cause it's really annoying when you lose your wax. At least I do. I don't know about y'all, but I lose my wax. And um, I did find something new, and I'll show you really quick. I usually save everything for the end, but I did find this today. Um, and I only have, and I just dropped it. Yep. Oh, my goodness sakes. <clears throat> so it's a little cover binder slash wax holder. There is only four of them, and that's all there will be. I will not be able to get more of them, I don't believe, because uh, they were on, like, a little, like, closeout section. Um, welcome, Mickey Sunshine. Um, anyway, so I thought it was super cute, though. Adorable. It's even cuter when my camera decides to, um, you know, focus. I'm going to go up, uh, up nice and close and personal. There it is. There it is. Oh, come on. There it is. It's cute. And then it opens up just like a locket does. Um, I was like, why won't it open? Um, Because I'm holding it closed. So it opens up just like a locket. And then there's a place here for wax. And you can put it over there too if you want to. So yeah. I think I have like, let's see, one, two, three, four different um, cover miner slash wax holders now on my store because I'm just, I don't know, I'm obsessed with like things that are multifunction, like my Hello Kitty. I'm going to use my Hello Kitty um, cover miner slash pen as my trash today, my trash bucket today. Um... Oops. There. there we go. Okay. So, yeah, I didn't even think about this at first when I first started using it. Um, the bottom of it can totally be used as a trash collector. So, it is not only a cover minder, not only a pen, but it's also a trash, col trash collector, which is pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to actually try this wax out that um ariel sent me yeah let me see here you should actually message her and tell her get your butt on grab my phone i'm gonna message her find out where she is she's usually in here sometimes she gets sidetracks and forgets so i'm gonna message her and see if she's gonna be coming on do, 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 do. All right. Hey, you're going to be joining my live tonight? Question mark. Yeah, I'm too lazy to type, you guys. So I hate typing on my phone. I just talk it and my phone likes to mess up what I say all the time. But that's okay. I also forget to like proofread it all the time too. Okay, we'll see if she jumps on with us. Typically, she's on here like before I am. So, hello, Sariba. How are you tonight? All right. Oh my gosh, that, that is some deep wax. That like goes super deep. I think it's white. I'm not sure though. I think it's white. We'll see. Okay. Mallory will be joining us in a bit. She says she's eating dinner. We'll see about Ariel, though. Um, yeah, Ariel's been working on that shop for, like, months now. Months. Because she's been wanting to do it, but she's been working on getting her um, designs that she's been coming up with working and, and everything. So, 
And she's got other stuff that I just don't, I don't obviously have everything that she has, but she's got some other stuff. She has this really cute little, little adorable, I love this little thing. Looks like a little like Mickey ice cream sandwich kind of a thing. Isn't that cute? <clears throat> All right, let me see. Oh, I know, you know, I'm going to pull this over here. Hold on. One second. There we go. All right. Oh, there it is. Um, okay, so literally have not worked on this canvas uh, in like three or four days at all. Um, it's been put like rolled up and put aside because I've had my computer on my desk all week long. Um, because <clears throat> I've had so much activity on the shop. It was crazy. It was yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday I got all caught up, had everything done. And then, um, Miss Coffee, Miss Coffee. Oh my word. Miss Coffee happened to say something about my stuff in her live. And I got like 13 orders last night. <laughs> I was like, holy moly. So, um, yeah, I just haven't really had a lot of time to work on this, but I love this canvas so much. And thank you, Sariba. I just got them done um, today, this afternoon. And I got them blue. And let's see if, um, let's see, if you can see the sparkle. Maddie, can you answer it for me, honey? Thank you. Um, so, yeah, there it is, the sparkle. I love the sparkly stuff. So my name, my manicurist is amazing. Um, sorry guys, somebody's at my door. Just a second. If you could open it, I'll tell her. Mads. She obviously like she knows I'm here. But anyways, um, yeah. So I went and got them done today, and um. No, how about, can you come back tomorrow? Sure. Okay. Um, so, okay, thank you. Anyway, so yeah, I like to do the sparkly nails because, I don't know, I just like the bling, I guess. And I like, so I've never had blue nails before. I typically go with like purple, red, pink, um, I don't know. But I wanted to do something a little different. And this was, I don't know, it reminds me of winter time. So. My dog is going to go nuts if he realizes that Marilyn is walking away. So that is the woman. I've talked about her um, a few times in some videos because she kind of kind of crosses some boundaries. I know she's just kind of lonely. Um, she's a she's 84. She lives next to me. She doesn't, you know, have a lot of people in her life. So I get that. Um, but there's, I, I sometimes have a hard time like standing up for myself or really laying some like firm boundaries down. And uh, let's just say she's given me some practice doing that. So just now she knocked and we didn't answer, obviously, because I'm like right in the middle of, of my live, which she knows because I've done it on Saturday nights now for a long time. Um, but anyways, so I obviously I didn't get up and answer it. Well, she'll keep knocking and, and eventually she would have just walked in if the door was unlocked. She'll just come on in. And so then Maddie answered. I don't know if you guys heard, but Maddie answered it and told her, no, she's, you know, in the middle of her live right now. Can you come back later? And she's like, no, I can't come back later. Can I just, can I just come in and feed the dogs? And um, and I, I have to be just really blunt with her. Like, no, you can't. Cause, um, no, nope. Cause otherwise she, I don't know. I don't think she would respect the fact that I'm doing something. She would try to talk to me like she just did when obviously Maddie answered. Um, but you know, she's always bringing us bananas. So she found out my husband likes bananas and she's got a little, little crush on my husband. She's always like saying how handsome he is and how what a good looking guy he is and and all this stuff. 
And then she found out he liked bananas. So now she brings us bananas all the time. Well, then she found out um, on New Year's that he'll have wine once in a while, but not very often. I was like, yeah, he doesn't really drink much because I don't drink. So, you know, he doesn't really drink alone. So, so then it just so happened the next day she comes over with these two bottles of wine because she all of a sudden couldn't open her wine bottles anymore and needed us to open them. And so as I'm like opening them, she was saying something about, well, like, oh, well, you know, he should come have a glass of wine with me. I, I just hate to drink alone. And it's like, well, woman, you've been drinking alone all this time. And now all of a sudden you found out he likes wine. And so you come over like she she's been opening her wine bottles all this time. I've never opened a wine bottle for her before. And all of a sudden she couldn't open either one of them that she had. Is this kind of a little coincidence, you know, kind of thing? Um, so <laughs> she's just, I don't know, she's just funny like that. But I just have to laugh and move on. She's been way better since um, I really had to be pretty straightforward with her. She's been better. I told her she cannot come over past 8 o'clock. She came over at midnight one night just to feed the dogs and talk. Just because she saw our door was open, because I had our door open because it was like hot outside still. And so I was cooling off the house and she saw it was open. So she decided she'd just come over for a little visit at, at midnight. Um, so <laughs> anyways. Um, let's see. Sorry, sorry. Let's see. Hold on. Hello, Mallory. Welcome. Just coming to say a quick hi and be nosy. Diamond painting by Nikki. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Aussie girl. Um, hello, a brush with travel. Um, hello, mystical 81. Let's see, did I get everybody? I don't know if I did. If I missed y'all, I'm so sorry. I think I got everybody. I think I did. Um, <laughs> that clever hussy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, I'm good. How are you doing? Uh, oh, welcome, Brittany. Um, oh, Mallory, you changed your little logo guy thing. It's like a little purple girl now. With purple hair. You should have done red hair since you dyed your hair red. Um, dang it. What am I doing? I need to get my dental, I think. Because this wax is giving me problems with these ABs. And, yeah, if you guys ever have a problem with your wax... Um, with the AB drills, because you know how a lot of times the ABs will pop, pull, pull the drills. Oh my gosh, pull the wax out of the pen. Um, I did a video a long time ago on this, but you know the uh, dental wax that you use when you get like if you have braces or something, and it comes in this little thing, looks like this. Anyways. Dental wax works amazing for when you're doing ABs. It won't pull them out, and it works really well for ABs. And I usually have a separate pen with the dental wax in it, so that way I can, like, switch pens when, um, when I'm doing the ABs. I don't know why I didn't. I don't have one right now. I didn't know why. I'm going to have, hold on guys. I'm going to have to get up and turn my fan on. I am like having a hot flash here. One second. Okay. Yes, I'm only 35, but I get them. Oh man. And if you guys have never had one before, it feels like, when somebody, like, if you were to go and put your face in a heater, not in a heater, right in front of a heater, and the 
it's just like blowing hot air right on your face. That is what it feels like. But all over. It's not very fun. It's not the most pleasurable thing in the world, I have to say. Um, let me see here. I'm absolutely, or Nikki says I'm absolutely loving that one you're working on right now, Beth. It's freaking gorgeous. Oh, the hubby Rob is complaining that you didn't say hi to him. Well, hello, Rob. I hope you're doing good tonight, too. I didn't know you were around. Um, I didn't mean to leave you out. <laughs> uh, Nikki is also one of my moderators, you guys, on um, my Facebook. She has actually been with me also ever since um, the very beginning. And I'm going. There we go. Okay. You're now a moderator on here too, really. Um, anyways, yeah, so she's been with me ever since the beginning. She has literally been in like almost every single Whip It Wednesday video. I think she's been in every single one, actually. There was one week she wasn't working on a painting. She was taking a break, but she was working on something else. And so I put that in there um, because I was like, nope, we can't break the streak. Are you um, working on, what one are you working on right now, Nikki? Because aren't you going to do um, not bad, just drawn that way or something? I thought you were getting another DAC. Maybe I'm wrong. But I thought you were. Uh, let's see, hold on. Angie's crazy. M and Diamond Painting, hello, welcome. Um, Felicia, welcome. I hope I'm saying your name right. I know, but it's the one you sent me. Wait, what? What's the one I sent you? I'm confused. Are you talking to me? I think you're talking to me. But I don't know what I sent you. Um... Name change is good, Aussie girl. Um, let me see. Hold on. Hold up. Who changed their name? I missed something. I'm missing stuff, and I'm so confused. Oh, well. He says he's good. Just putting up with the wife's. <laughs> I'm going to say crap because I got kiddos in the room. Um, Safira's mama, you are back. Welcome back. Because your videos are the bomb. Um, let me see here. My crystal tree. Oh, that's right. The, the, the crystal tree. What are you working on next? Because I swear it was, um, you were saying something about not bad, bad, but drawn that way or something. Whoops. I hit my camera. Sorry, guys. Aussie girl added crafts to her name. Oh, okay. I was like, I swear. I know it's been Aussie girl. I guess I didn't realize that there wasn't crafts. See how much I pay attention. But yeah, I mean, and see, and that's a good name change because everybody still knows you, but it just adds just a little bit, you know, a little bit change it up. I almost changed my name, my um, YouTube channel name in the beginning because people would ask me what my YouTube channel was and then try to find me on YouTube. But because of Shine Bright Like a Diamond, you know, the song, um, not, my YouTube channel won't pop up at all. It'll just pop up with all that stuff about that song. And so I questioned changing it, but then I was like, no. Nope. I'm not going to. I like my channel, my name. It took me a long time to come up with my name, and I ain't changing it. It's the emoji that you sent me. Oh, it is? I didn't realize that, because I'm nuts. Um... 
I do have the Jessica Rabbit on bat. Okay, not drawn that way. That's what I thought that you just received. And that one is likely going to be the next one I do. But I'm going to be a quick side project first. Oh, the hubby drew me up a wooden board with my channel's name. And I'm going to do that up with extra drills. That is going to be awesome. That is awesome. Aussie Girl says, I've had crafts on my channel ever since I put down Aussie Girl. So from the start. D Baker says, I changed my mind once. Refused to respond to my message messages until I changed it back. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Because they didn't know who you were? I'm in painting. Nikki says, right? Ariel, welcome, Ariel. Who got you the cup? You did. Everybody that. I showed them. And see, I'm using it. See, look. I know at first I was like, I just, I don't know if I want to use it. It's too pretty. And Mallory's like, you have to use it. I want you to use it. So see, I got, I'm using it. And I've actually been using it since the day I opened it. I've been using it and I've gotten so many compliments on it. Everywhere I take this thing, um, I, I get compliments. I took it to my doctor's office and I had three people just in the doctor's office asking me where I got it. I did already show it, Miss Mallory. You just weren't in here yet. I can't show it too much because I got stuff in it and I don't want to tip it over, but. I'll show it again for those of y'all who weren't in here yet. So it says shine like a diamond. And then it has my diamond on there. And this is my logo, obviously. You know, the beginning of all my videos, this is like what you see. And like down to the font, she did an amazing job. Yes, it's absolutely stunning. And everywhere I go that I take it, people ask me. So hopefully... It uh, helps get some business for her, too. Oh, um, oh i got to read this, and I'll say what I was going to say. She said it wasn't appropriate for her to message me with that name. It was Diamond Painting Anarchy, LOL. Oh, my gosh. Goodness gracious. That's hilarious. What is? Nothing. Ariel says, Beth, thanks so much for the unboxing. We got to catch up before restocking some of the 3D stuff. Awesome. I'm so glad you're getting um, business sent your way. That is wonderful. Well, and I just showed your stuff again because, I mean, seriously, I love, I love this thing. Love, love it. And I love this. I really do. This is like, I think... Out of everything, this is my favorite because I like having the lid on it and it's got the actual lid that comes with it too. So it's like, it's just perfect. I love it. You're doing a great, great job. I'll tell you what. Um, I'm excited for you to get some more colors too because that will be fun to have some more colors. But hold on, guys. Just flush the toilet. What? Go clean the cereal up in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Well, just go clean it up. If it's on the floor, go clean it up. You should be using your bathroom anyways. Alex, Remember? Alex, use your bathroom. It's not going to get you. Like Holy spider. cow. I swear sometimes that I have a two-year-old son versus an almost 14-year-old son. Those of you who heard me say something about cereal in the bathroom, no, my kids don't eat cereal when they're in the bathroom. But Maddie amazing. did not finish uh, her cereal today, and we don't have a garbage disposal. So I have I make her dump it in there and flush it rather than, like, you know, pouring it into the garbage can. And my son refuses to use his bathroom because there's a tiny, itty bitty, itty bitty spider in there. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Me? Yeah. Alex, I take care of spiders all the time for you. 
You need to grow up and do it. It's not going to like attack you or something. I'm not going to run at you. I mean, no kidding. It's not. Spiders are scared of you. You're like a big giant to them. Why would they, you know, purposefully attack you? Um, let's see. May or may not have purple on the way by request. Ooh, purple. That's going to be an awesome color. I know you said something about that. So did you find it? I'm excited for purple because that's going to be gorgeous. I really like, so far out of all of the colors, though, that you have, I like the pink. I really like the pink color because it's like a, I don't know, it's like a really... It's like a pearly pink almost. So I love it. Maddie, just go. Um, yeah, so I really like the pink. Anyways. Um, Sariba, I'm back. I had to read bedtime story for the little monster. Being a mom comes first. Always. Safira's mom said I have to go. My net is playing up badly oh that's okay Safira's mom I hope you have a great night okay could you just stop Alex be quiet put my knife down that's not a toy now Maddie just pick it up with um, your hands let's see welcome Dixie D Baker says so I may have just started the order process for my extreme design bottle. Oh, that's awesome. Um, yeah, it was funny. So, oh gosh, who is it? Who is it? What's her name? I'm drawing a blank. Hold on. I got to look some up. Because otherwise it's going to drive me bananas. Do, 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 do. So, Melissa is her mom, I guess. I didn't know that. And she messaged me saying, like, uh, thanks for doing the unboxing. And she was so glad that I got the cup. And then, yeah, we had this long conversation about how she got to watch her daughter work on my cup. And she was like, hey, I know who that's for. And um, anyways, I have been contemplating. Now, I'm not saying for sure I'm doing this. This is just a thought process, an idea, a, a little... Um, you know, tickle on the brain thing that I've been wondering about. Maybe doing. Um, so I don't know if you guys saw, but I hit my thousand mark today. So, or last night, I don't know, last night or today. Um, yeah, so I got my thousand subscribers. So I'm super, super excited um, about that. I literally, so since the very beginning, um, Mrs. Coffee has been kind of like my mentor helping me with certain things. Well, she told me from the very beginning, don't look at your subscriber count. Like, don't look at it just, you know, cause it'll drive you crazy. So I haven't, I've done a really good job. Like I look at it every so often, but I have to admit over the last couple days, I've been checking on that because I noticed how close I was. And so I was just like watching that last. And, and I swear that last one, I was like, I'm one away, one away. And then when I got it, I was so happy. So um, thank you guys so much. You guys are what got me here. Like, seriously. Um, but I, I, yeah, I'm like, I don't even know what to say, but thank you. Because <clears throat> I honestly, at the beginning, I remember when I hit 50 and I was ecstatic that I hit 50. Because to me, 50 is a lot of people to watch a video and then think, oh, I've watched more of that, you know, like, and so the fact that I've hit a thousand in under a year, I am like ecstatic about that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am going to be doing a giveaway for my thousand subscriber. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, because I don't know, I want to do something a little different than just like my typical here a diamond painting kind of thing. I want to do, I mean, I'll probably do that too, but like, so I was thinking maybe a cup. I don't know. So uh, your ideas, you put them in the comments 
um, below. I am going to be making a video asking to, because not everybody watches the lives and that's okay. I can't watch everybody's lives, especially because going back and like watching the replay is hard because lives tend to be longer and I just don't have the time to watch every single person um, that I am subscribed to is live. And so I want to make a like a separate video about what I'm going to do and asking people like what you guys want me to do because it's for you guys. You guys are the one that's going to be, you know, getting it. But I just want to do something a little different. And, you know, I don't know. I feel like just doing, you know, a painting it's just boring. <laughs> Maybe I know it's not boring when you win one. It's cool and fun and exciting, but I just, I still, like I said, I'll probably still do a giveaway because I do have so many paintings that I'm still trying to like whittle down, but I um, also want to do something added on and different and stuff. So, and I am still doing a, I'm doing another uh, Diamond Art Club. Um, raffle type thing again same as last week for and it'll go till next saturday um and it it counts so everything from the fifth which was last sunday from the fifth up until next saturday which is the 17th 18th let's see what day is that next week is the 18th so up until um, the 18th, I will be uh, anything over. If you have, for every ten dollars you spend, that will be going. Um, you'll be getting an entry in. So if you spend fifty dollars, you get five uh, entries in, and it will be another three painting giveaway like last time. Um, I'm not sure which paintings it'll be yet. I'll make a video. Um, announcing that again, but you'll get the choice again of Sleeping Beauty or um, which was the other one? I'm trying to remember. Tiana, I believe is the name, right? I don't remember what it's actually called, but Bayou Lady or something, something like that. Anyways, and Sleeping Beauty, so you'll get the choice in between those, and then I'll have two other ones that I'm not sure what, what I'm going to do yet. We'll see. We shall see. Um, but yeah. Okay, congrats. Thank you, Dixie. Thank you, Mickey Sunshine and, and Mallory and Aussie Girl and Angie and Z Baker. Thank you, everybody um, that said congrats. I greatly appreciate it. Welcome, Nicole. Um, Z Baker, 18th. And my, oh, that's your birthday. Well, happy early birthday. If you're around next week, we'll have to sing happy birthday to you. Because that's awesome. I won't ask you how old you are or going to be. But if you want to say, you can say. But I won't, I won't ask you. I won't ask you. Because some people, they're pretty touchy about birthdays. Um, I could care less. I thought... All year, I thought I was 36, and I'm 35, so this birthday, when I actually turn 36, I'm going to be, I'll feel like I just gained a year, because I just, just, my husband just pointed out to me, no, you're not 36, you're 35, you nut. Um, do you have the link to your GoFundMe? Um, I do, I'll have to get it, let me see here. Um, Ariel, do you have it if you're still in here? Because I know you might have it quicker than I do because um, she's just good like that. Nicole says, I'm skipping my birthday this year. Through <laughs> business, I wish I could. I'm on a no buy till the end of February. I love the Bayou lady. Um, well, good for you though, Sariba, for sticking with your no buy. Uh, because I, everybody says that, like, I'm on a no buy, and then they buy stuff. They're like, oops. <laughs> I have not put myself on a no buy because I know that, it, yeah, I just, and I don't really buy that much, honestly. Um, 
when it comes to like pens and cover minders, if I buy it, it's usually for the store. Um, and I can, you know, it's not going to cost me too much for to get one for myself. And I have not bought any diamond paintings lately off of like AliExpress or anything like that. Um, because I have so many, but I tell you, I am weak when it comes to Hannah Lynn. I am weak. Because she, her paintings so far, I have every single one of her paintings um, that's come out. And I was watching um, Diamond Artworks um, flip through of her coloring book. Yesterday I was watching that, I think. And I really want that. I mean, I don't, I always, I keep saying I'm not going to color, I'm not going to color, I'm not going to color. I have a ton of stuff for coloring, like I have books and stuff, but. I don't have very much like markers and like color pencils anymore. And I don't want to like get into another craft that all of a sudden I'm going to be spending a ton of money again to start doing, especially when I have so many diamond paintings that I want to do. But I am obsessed with Hannah Lynn. And I tell you, there are some paint or some some coloring pages in there that I am not kidding you. I need to like reach out and be like, please make this into a diamond painting. Cause Oh my word. I know Miss coffee also did a flip through of that, um, of that book. So yeah, it, if you're interested in it, it was on Amazon. Um, but it's just, She's just a talented, talented artist. And I, it's one of those, like, it's matches my personality and, like, what I like. Um, I just think she is phenomenal. Phenomenal. There's a lot of artists that I really like, but she is definitely, like, her, Mandy Manzano as well. Those, they're my favorites off of. Uh, that Diamond Art Club works with so far anyways I like some other ones too I like JoJo's Arts I like um, what's his name oh what's his name uh, I can't I'm drawing a blank on his name right now his are like super detailed um, Island Time he did Island Time that guy I love his stuff too All uh, right. I can't remember who asked me about the go. Oh, Dixie did. Uh, so Dixie, Ariel just put it up. Um, the GoFundMe link. So thank you, Ariel. I appreciate it. Um, Nikki says, "Sorry, girly, gotta step out. I've got a buyer coming to get this drum kit off out of my hallway. I'm so happy to get some space back." Well. That is totally fine, Nikki. Thanks for coming in. I know that you're busy a lot of times on Saturday nights, so I just love seeing your name in here. And, yeah, that'll be nice to get some space back. I always love selling stuff, getting getting rid of stuff, downsizing. It feels so good. All right. Um, Sariba says, I can't. I'm moving February, so until I have the space to put them and I can't buy any more. So for me, it's not cost, just space. Uh, sorry about, I am with you there on space too, Kit. I mean, geez, I, I have not done my stash video. I know I keep saying I will. I just haven't edited it. But I, um, the reason like I was like, I need to really get rid of some of my Diamond Art Club's it wasn't because like I don't like them. It was just because being real, being realistic, like it would be years probably before I would be able to finish all of them. And when I had them all up in the closet, um, and then tried to get one out, and it fell down on my face, and I literally had a like my lip split open, had a big old fat lip, split lip, blood bleeding everywhere. It was not fun. My son's like, Mom, you need to get rid of some of these. And I said, son, I agree. <laughs> like, so that is why. So, yes, space is definitely um, a factor. We live in an apartment. 
Um, and so I don't have like all the space in the world to play around with. I have been like toying with the idea of maybe moving my stuff into the walk-in closet where right now that's like Maddie's space. Um, so we would be like sharing it. I don't know what that is right here. Anyways, we would share the space um, so that it would get it out of our living room because man, man. Oh, as I, I was away for uh, away from the chat for a second. Welcome. Let me come back in here real quick. Um, yeah, because I am. Oh, yeah. Chunk Penson. Is that what his name? Chunk Penson. That's that. That's it. Thank you. Make it sunshine. Um, let's see. Welcome, patriotic beauty and Mrs. Coffee. Sorry, been lurking. Maddie isn't feeling well. Oh, I'm sorry. Tell her we said hello, and I hope she feels better. Having a sick kid is like, it, it, that's one of the hardest things, because there's nothing you can do to help. Um, that Yeah, I just, I hate when they're sick. I hate it. Uh, Nikki says, if you're still on half hour or so, then I'll be back. Okay, Nikki, sounds good. Welcome, Nana of Seven Crafts. You know, every time I read your name, I in my brain, I read it wrong. Like, I know it's Nana of Seven Crafts, but I always think of, like, seven crafts. Like, like you have seven different crafts that you're working on. That's what my brain goes to when I read your name. Every time. Hello, Odd But Nice. Welcome. Um, D. Bigger says, hey, oh, hey, Miss Coffee. Okay. Um. Welcome, Elizabeth Adams. She says, hello, all. Just got done kidding up the first of three customs. It has 3,758 of 310. Holy moly. What was I thinking? <laughs> I have a Rottweiler. Of course, it's going to have a bunch of black. Of course it is. Of course. You're going to be living that 310 life for sure. But we'll show up. Ariel says, hi, I'm Miss Coffee. Hope Maggie feels better. Um, yeah, that. How are you doing, Miss Coffee? She's getting an ear infection and been running a fever all day. Oh, yuck. Ear infections are the worst. They really are. I remember, like, when I got one a couple years ago as an adult. And I, it, I mean, it was more than a couple. It was a few years ago. It was like three, I think at the time. And I remember being like, no wonder these kids scream and holler when they have an ear infection. It feels like somebody's like stabbing at your ear. Um, oh, they're just ear infections and tooth pain are bad, 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 bad. But, um, I hope she feels better. Hopefully she gets some antibiotics if that's what she needs. I know those, um, the eardrops, that numb the ear those are like a godsend when you have a kid with an ear infection because while the ibuprofen or tylenol or whatever starts to kick in those make a huge difference um alex used to get ear ear infections really bad when he was a baby and when he was little and he wouldn't even like have any symptoms of it until he just like bam, his eardrums would rupture. Like, he would have no fever. He would complain. He wouldn't be sick. Like, nothing. And then all of a sudden, he would get a ruptured eardrum. And the doctor would be like, yep, it's another ear infection. I never forget that first time his eardrum ruptured and we rushed him into the ER because he all of a sudden had blood coming out of his ear. And we were, like, terrified because we had no idea what was going on. He wasn't sick. He hadn't been complaining up till that point. And he had been sitting there um, drawing with a pencil. And I thought he stabbed his ear with the pencil. So we rushed him in. And the ER doctor was like, he was kind of a jerk about it. Because he assumed, which he, you know, I, I understand why he assumed. But still, he was like, why didn't you get this kid in days ago? And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, well, his ear infection is so bad that that's why his eardrum has 
ruptured. Why didn't you get him in, you know, a long time ago? And I'm like, um, probably because he wasn't sick. He didn't have a fever. He, he still didn't have a fever at that point. I had no idea he had an ear infection. Or else I would have got him in. But, yeah, I remember, and he was like, he almost acted like he didn't believe me at first. Like, how could, you know, this ear infection be so bad that the eardrums would rupture, yet he wouldn't be complaining about it? But that's the way it was. Every time he had an ear infection, we wouldn't know about it for a long time after. Maddie, on the other hand, when she had an ear infection, the neighbors knew about it. Because she would just scream her head off. Now, she really only had him when she was a baby. She didn't get him much as she got older. Alex had him from when he was a baby all the way up until he was like, I don't know, seven or something. I had them really bad when I was little. I had tubes put in my ears four different times. And I still, I have horrible hearing because of how many times my eardrums um, ruptured. So... Anyways, so I hope she does. I hope she feels better because that's not a fun thing. Let me scroll back up because I did it again. Getting all behind here. Um, she says, you did buy the actual Eddie machine. Um, cool. Crafting and Mrs. Coffin machine. Okay, yes, I did buy the real. Patty King size, Mrs. Coffee. Hi, Patriotic Beauty. Okay. Um, Ariel says, I'm in and out, working and lurking. That is totally fine, Ariel. Ariel, what are you working on right now? I don't, I can't remember off the top of my head. Sean, I have a question for you. Okay, ask away. Hopefully, I'll have an answer for you. Um... And this is not seven crafts, seven grandkids. Oh, I know. I know, Nana. I just, like, I know it means, like, Nana of seven and then crafts. But in my mind, every time I read it, I read it as though it's seven crafts. I know you have, like, seven grandkids. I got that. I just, my mind wants to tell me otherwise when I read it. Um, Did I just finish this letter? I think I, oh, no, there's a couple here. I was going to say, I thought I had a couple here still to go. This color I'm working on right now is, um, gosh darn it, this wax is making me mad. It keeps coming off. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, so the color I'm working on right now is the same color as my nails. And this is my favorite DMC code color. 3846 is like my favorite. Never had on my nails before though. But it really is um, like almost exactly the same. Look at that. It's just a tiny bit lighter. You could hardly even see the drill there because it's so light or so much the same color. I mean. Yep, I'm easily amused. I could just sit and look at my drill colors compared to my nail colors. Oh, yeah. I don't remember who said it. Somebody said it in chat um, maybe two weeks ago. Uh, that They said something about if I could find the color of, that were my nails. So I had the purple. If I could find that color as a... Um, inhaler that that I should because they really liked it and let me just show you see if I can get it out on this piece of paper um shine the bigger says shine by the way I'm gonna be 33 I think you missed it earlier a little every year is a blessing very true very true and I did miss that earlier sorry I know I miss stuff because I'm really bad about um, looking away from chat while I'm doing stuff. And then I talk and then I'm like, oh, crap, I should probably look at chat again. Um, Elizabeth M says, Jesse used to get bad 
ear infections too. The doctor told me when she had an earache to pour peroxide in her ear. She hasn't seen a doctor for that since. Oh, wow. I never was told that. Uh, Nana said, what is the wooden thing that is a white thing sticking out of it on your canvas? Oh, so it's not wooden. It's actually plastic. Um, this is something I did the unboxing the other day. Um, it is Devious Diamonds um, on Etsy. It is a friend of mine, Ariel. She's in here. Um, she is has a new Etsy store, and she has a 3D printer, and she has come up with some awesome stuff on Etsy. And it's original. I have not seen anything else like this. So this thing is a multi-placer holder. So those are my multi-placers. And look at all those options you can fit in there. And this one, you can actually fit the 15-placer in this one. And so it's two-tiered. So you got two up here and then all of those down there. Is that not awesome? Yes, I love it. Um, she has this one. She has a heart-shaped one. Um, the other one I have that she gave me is this blue one and it holds six. And so I have a couple of them in there and I've got my straightener in there. And then she has this little scoop for the drills. So I have that in here. So that's what those are. And it's actually plastic. Um, it's just like a, like a golden color. I could see why you would think it was wooden though. I could see that. But I love it. Love it. And then she made this too. This little wax holder right here. Um, and this. Whoa, I know I've showed this a lot. But I love this thing. It's a funnel. And it's a sturdy funnel. A nice funnel. If you use bags, this is a must have. I kitted down a project with this. And it was like, oh, ah, so much better. So much better than trying to, yeah, no, I'm, no, I'm clumsy and I had, I have a problem with it, but not with that. Okay. I'm going to show, um, whoever asked me about it. So hold on a second. It's rose gold. If anyone was wondering, that's what I thought. It looked like it was rose gold. Okay. So whoever asked about my nail color a couple weeks ago, the purple, like kind of sparkly purple and wanted it as a inhaler color. Here it is. See if I can get my camera to focus on it though. Come on. And I don't even, it doesn't even show great on camera, but oh, it is so pretty. Here is the color. Do, do, do. Here it is. Let's see if my camera will give you guys any kind of a focus. Oh, would you just. Ah! Okay, you'll have to take my word for it. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful color. I love it. Um, and yeah, I'm going to actually make an inhaler with it um, kind of for a show. And then I'll put it up in my um, in the store, I'll have a normal purple and then this purple because this is definitely a little bit of like a lighter, more sparkly purple. But um, I really, really, really like it. Um, Cause where's the other purple, the other, this is like the normal purple that I have. That one. So the other one is definitely um, a little bit of like a different shade of purple but still purple nonetheless i still think this is my favorite color though for the inhalers which is um mermaid magic that color i love that color love it oh my gosh go back on there go okay um hold on let's see do, do. I think it's a spare tip holder. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, rhinestone dream catcher. And yeah, that's a pen holder. Hold up. What's a pen holder? Oh, this? No. It's, yeah, no. Not a pen holder. Multi-placer holder. I think it's a spare tip holder. That, yep. 
Yes, it is a tip. Hold up. Ooh. The color is rose gold. Cerebra, you okay? Cool. Gotcha. I want it. Um, come to the dark side. We have shinies. <laughs> uh, Cerebra, you can do it. Be strong, D. Baker says. Um, hi, everyone. The color is so pretty. Um, let's see. Elizabeth says, I got a bag of multi-placers during the 11-11 sale. I found something to do with all, all those pink pens. No kidding. I have so many pink pens. I don't even know. But, um, I do the clay, like, I'll make clay pens. And so I always keep my my spare pink ones for when I decide to go and make more clay pens. Um, I haven't made them for a while just cause I've been really busy, but I do still have, um, um, let's see. Hold on. Crafting. Are you out of the funnels? Ariel, are you out of funnels? Oh, um, Ariel, are you going to make pen holders for acrylic? Pens. Oh, that would be a great idea, Kim, to make um like something like. Oh, now I know this is my inhaler stand. I'm working on my inhalers, but this is um like making something like this, Ariel. That would be really cool for a, like a pen holder, especially for like the clay and acrylic pens. That'd be awesome. I'd be totally willing to check it out for you. Totally willing to do that. Um, let's see. Hold on. Serena says, glad it's not just me. How is everyone doing? Debbie, welcome. For now, unfortunately, we are out of stock. They take hours to print, so got to space them out. We'll have them relisted in the next few days. Awesome. Yeah, because those funnels are awesome. Especially for those of you guys that use um, the funnels. I mean, the um, the bags. Those are like a must-have if you use the bags. We look into, we can look into pen holders. We have a whittle printer. A little. I'm guessing you meant little, not whittle printer, <laughs> printer for now. So print size is limited. Um, thank you, Nana. I uh, just told you the other night you would be at a thousand subs very soon. Yeah, I honestly, um, when I saw it was close, that's when I started checking it. And I was like, I've only got a couple more to go. Do you need some more pink pen girls? Elizabeth, I think I'm good right now. Um, yeah, I, I'm not kidding you. I've got hundreds of them, <laughs> like hundreds. Okay, I will wait to place my order until then. Um, welcome to the 1000K Club. Thank you, Patriotic Beauty. Um, I greatly appreciate it. I was super, super excited. Like, I like ran into my, my husband was on his phone in his bedroom, which is where he likes to be. Probably because I'm so loud and he, you know, it's the only quiet place in the house. So I like ran in there and I was like, I did it. I hit my thousand. He was really happy for me. He's he's very quietly happy, but he was very, very proud of me. And because um, he knows like how much I do as far as like, you know, working on videos and editing and how much I've had to learn. I knew nothing about editing. Absolutely nothing. I didn't even know how to put words over a video. Like I asked my daughter, I'm like, can you do this? Is this something that's doable? Duh. And I'm like, well, I, I don't know. I, I didn't know. So I've learned a lot um, and I was never on YouTube really before. Um, I I would go on here and then to like look at stuff, but now I, yeah, I'm on a lot more. My kids are like, mom, you're always on your phone compared to use like how it used to be. Cause like before I wouldn't look at my phone for hours. I just didn't use my phone hardly ever. And now um, it's like my lifeline because I use it for not only my YouTube channel, but for my Etsy store. Um, I use it a lot for the Etsy store for posting things. And when people message me and stuff, like that's how I, um, you know, reach out to people a lot of times. So I'm on my phone. Oh, and I thought I lost it the other day. Scared the jeebers out of me. I put it down at the store and mm -mm, don't ever do that. 
especially at Walmart, because I was lucky that a worker found it. Um, thank you, Elizabeth. Andy says, I finished my military boots diamond painting today. It turned out amazing. Well, congratulations on finishing, Angie. Every diamond painting finished should get a big old congratulations party, I think. Because I'll tell you, these things, they, you know, people don't realize, like, how much time they take. They might not be difficult as in, like, skill levels and stuff. But as far as hours that goes into each painting... Yes, you have to be very dedicated. Um, and, I mean, the addiction definitely kind of helps move you along a little bit. At least it does for me because I get super excited about the next painting, you know, that I'm going to do. And um, so I'm always, like, you know, pushing along. This one I was only going to do one square a day, and I got really excited about it. And I d that didn't, yeah, mm -mm. I, I did more one square a day. Then I haven't worked on it now for the past couple days, so that's okay because I just got so many orders that I was having to spend most of my time working on them, um, which was good, though, because every little bit helps, goes, you know, um, in case you didn't know, uh, if you hadn't heard me say it yet, all the proceeds right now from my Etsy store are going towards getting um, my daughter um, another service dog because we had to put Maya, her service dog, down at the flat beginning of December. Um, and so we are saving right now because getting a service dog is incredibly expensive. Even though we'll be doing the training, it's still incredibly expensive. So, um. Yeah, and pets in general. Man, they are expensive. And my pets, I swear, it's like Lincoln, my my dog right now, it's always something with him. It's always something. He's got either a rash because he ate something he's allergic to, which um, we're pretty sure he's allergic to chicken because that is like the number one things dogs are actually allergic to. So, um, and then last night, he was running through the snow because we had eight something inches of snow. He was running through the snow like a lunatic because he loves the snow. And all of a sudden I was like, why is there blood all over the ground? You know, white, fresh white snow and then like red streaks, puddles going through it. I'm like, Lincoln, did you hurt yourself? I call him over. He literally, his nail, his, um, on his back paw, he had like, broke it way back here and it was just like bent and bleeding everywhere and he could care less he was just running on through like nothing else. um well uh welcome Miranda. but uh yeah i finished my sassy painting today i got some push pins today i've got an empty wall in oh hold on gotta go back up go back up in the craft room that I'm going to put all my paintings I don't plan on framing on. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, and yes, hours of work and I place one at a time. Angie, I commend you for that. I used to um, before, when I first started, like I was honestly, I thought there's no way I would ever be able to use a multi-placer. There's just no way, I'm not that talented. And then I'm like, I think it takes, it would take me more time to try to get them on the multi-placer and get them straight and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, nope, not even going to try. And then for whatever reason, I tried it and now I'm hooked. Like my favorite is the four or five placer. And when I'm doing a bunch of one color, the 15 placer is like my go-to. Um, but there are times where I just feel like doing one at a time, and I will. Um, I did a whole four by four section, all checkerboard, even though it was like not like a ton of color blocking. There was some, but not a ton. And I just did it that, that way because I was enjoying doing it that way. So, but uh, yeah, I definitely, now that I found the Thin multi-placers, that is the way to go. If you have a hard time with multi-placers, you got to get the thin ones because I tell you over and over again, 
the regular ones that you get, like the standard three placer and all those, I suck at them. Like I cannot use them to save my life. I can't get the drill straight. Then when I found all of my, the multi-placers that come in the style that like the four placers come in, I, I love them. They're super easy to use. I have no problems with them. Um, let's see. Yeah, no, book nook. That's what I was like. The coloring book nook. It's just a fun thing to say. My dad has a poor dog with thousands of plant allergies. If it's green, she's allergic. She had to be on meds to be outside. Oh, man. Poor thing. That would be really hard for a dog. Like, that's really hard. Um, hold on, guys. Sorry. I went too far down. Good night, patriotic beauty. Have a good one. And hello, Gail. Welcome, welcome. I went way too far down. Okay, there we go. Those diamonds in your container are so bright and gorgeous. I know. I love the bright color ones. That's one of the reasons I think I'm really drawn to the Hannah Lynn's is because they're so vibrant and and I don't know, they're just so vibrant and bright and beautiful. I love them. Um, let's see. I placed an order yesterday. Yes, and I believe that one was one of the ones that went out today, Elizabeth. I believe yours was in that stack. Um, let me look. Catherine Elizabeth Clark. Because your last name is Adams, and so... Yeah, yours went out today, Elizabeth. So you should be getting it soon. I don't remember what you bought because I've had so many lately, but... Um, um, <laughs> have a good shiny hiney. I saw everybody else saying goodnight to you, so I said it without even reading what you wrote. Shiny hiney. I got a shiny hiney. Um, anyways... Yeah, so everybody pretty much, well, I have like, let's see. Let me look. Everybody but Tina, Valerie, Elizabeth Carr, and Catherine, everybody else's um, were mailed out today. So those are the only ones that, they, these should go out Monday, I believe. Um, let's see. Yes, all of these should go out Monday. I should have the inhaler done by then. Who is that for? Who's the inhaler for? Elizabeth, the other Elizabeth. Um, because the inhalers, those are made by hand and they take two or three days to make. And so those ones, um, I can't just like, you know, pack and go. They, they take longer. Um, put it in all caps. Put what in all caps? Oh, okay. Um, um, sorry, guys, trying to catch up here. I agree that the thin ones are flipping amazing, right? That's what I think, D Baker. That's what I think. I won't even use the other ones. I commend you to Andrea. I've been doing three to 12 placers on larger paintings. I got my 60 by 80 custom today. And I'm pretty sure I'll be putting wax in the 14 and 15 when I work on it. Yep, especially if you've got a big background that's like solid colors. Um, that is when I really like go to town with the um, 15 placer. What I, I think the biggest, well, I don't know if it's the biggest. One of my favorite paintings that I did, uh, and I'll have to go back and show it sometime because this was pre- like before my channel and stuff. Um, Teddy, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that. Maddie's sitting over on the chair and she's going. I don't know why. She's lost it. Your blood sugar low. You acting crazy, girl. Uh, anyways, the one of my favorite paintings that I've done. Actually, I think it might be my favorite. 
is of Maddie and Maya. Um, and it is a, I think it's a, I don't know, 60 by 70 or 50 by 70. Anyways, it's a good, it's a big one. And oh my gosh, confetti hell. Oh my gosh. But the detail is awesome. And it is a, it was done really well. And it's by a company I don't even like. Um, but they did a pretty good job, I have to say. Um, I don't remember. Is that one, Maddie, do you remember if that one's a square? Um, let me look. I can't see it from here if it's a square or not. I don't even think. I guess I could try to show you guys. Let me see if I can move you. I'm going to cover you so that you don't get seasick. Because I would get seasick if I were you. All right, hold on. I'm going to try to show you. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. Okay, up there, you can kind of see it. It's of Maddie and Maya. And it's a good size painting. It's a good one. I don't know. I can't remember if it's a square. I think it's a round. No, actually, it is a square. It is a square. Anyways, that one was I got from, um, hold on, sorry guys, I had it, and I had my camera in like the poi fix spot, and then I move it, and then it's not in the perfect spot anymore, anyways, I got that one from Paint with Diamonds, and I'm not a fan of their companies, but that one, I can't complain, it was, it turned out awesome, um, and it was really easy to work on, except for how much confetti there was um it took me it took me a good while to to do that one Let's see if i can move this down just a little bit more there we go um <laughs> nana says road trip yeehaw um let's see how many do i have you since you cover okay hold on gotta go back up because i missed stuff um Says, let's see, hats off. Oh, I read that part. Agree, or Angie agreed, place three, or I'm using my single. Yeah, I know, Ariel's a three-placer junkie. She likes her three-placer. I like the three-placer too, though. I just, it has to be the thin one. How big is Cloud Runner, Nicole? Uh, Ariel says, I only used single for such a long time. I switched when I did the bear one a while back and had all those white drills. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that one. Oh, my gosh. I cannot imagine doing that one with white. I mean, with all that white with a single placer, I would have gone bananas. And you still only use the three placer, though. I would have used the wheel or the 15 placer for that. No way I would have done that. Like, no, too much white. That one turned out really good, though. Um, Elizabeth says, that'll make my daughter very happy since one of the two cover minders is for her. It wasn't much, but I figured every little bit would help. Absolutely, Elizabeth. Every little bit helps. Um, yeah, every dollar is a dollar. I mean, seriously. D. Baker, all right, everyone. I'm going to go to bed. It didn't end up going to sleep till 5 a.m. Then was up till 9 Went up at 9 a.m. I'm officially exhausted. D Baker, I feel you. I didn't go to sleep till um two this afternoon. I took a nap. <laughs> I was up all night. I was like, I'm gonna get all these orders done. I'm gonna get them out. So I did them all. And then typically I would take a nap or something in the morning, but I was like, nope, I'm gonna go and take them to the post office first thing this morning. So I did. Then I got my nails done. Then I had errands to do. Yeah. Didn't end up getting home till two. But I took a nap because there was no way I'd make it all day if I didn't. Ariel says, Maddie is trying to communicate to you via Morse code. I heard, yeah, I heard. You didn't hear me laughing at you? She didn't even hear me say anything, you guys. I said something to them and I was going, beep, 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 because that's what you were doing. You were doing it into your mic. Why were you doing that? Into your, You were doing it into your... I was just like listening to a song on 
Bye-bye. Oh, my goodness. Good night, D. Baker. Hope you have a good night. Um, um, let's see. Thanks. She'll be okay. She is getting. Oh, oh, why? Why must you do this to me? Um, come on now. Go back up. Go back up. There. Um, let's see. Ashink, welcome. Pop in in for a few minutes. She says, hope Maggie feels better soon mrs coffee it's just no fun when the little ones are sick very true it ain't no fun um think she will be okay she is getting mama cuddles and is sleeping oh that's good i miss when they're so they're little enough to like sleep laying on you maddie's so big now that it's like ugh, i can't i can't do it she still lays on me though, so run. Um, Cloud Runner is 65 by 52 centimeters and all single place in it down. Um, Nicole says, Happy Dance. Post office, Happy Dance. Yeah, I don't like going to the post office though, y'all. I do not like it at all. I don't know why. It's not that far, but I don't like it. It's not, I don't know what it is. I used to hate going because I had to wait in line. But now I don't have to wait in line. I just go up and put them all in my little, in, there's like a little box um, because my Etsy stuff all has the shipping labels already on it. So I just go up, but I revert as I do it um, because I've been, I cont been contemplating doing a YouTube video of something to do with the channel and like putting orders together and shipping them out. But I always record them being put in the little box whatever you want to call it, because um, I have had them where I've taken them and I know I dropped them off and they never were scanned in. And so I'm like, nope, I'm now going to record every single one being dropped in there so that y'all know they're going when I say they're going, because I've had so much problems with the dang USPS in the last couple months. Like it is ridiculous. They are driving me absolutely insane. Maddie says, boo. I think she was trying to say, like, boo, but it sounded like she's booing me. Um, Nicole says, it's because of what you got, Shine. <laughs> um, I have done, not done the wheel yet. You haven't done that yet, uh, Mallory? It's not hard, actually. Maddie loves the wheel. It's easier. Mm-hmm. Except I don't use the, um, it comes with like a, you know, the stick that you go, nope, I actually take it. Let's say this is the wheel. If this is the wheel, I hold it like this and I go like that. And then I go like that rather than with the little, there's like a straw looking thing that, nope, I've never been able to use that. Never. So, yeah, um, says they, hold on, yeah, and they lose things, right, Gail? Like, I I have had to replace packages because they've been lost in the mail. Um, I've had things not get scanned in that I know for a fact have been dropped off. Um, I just, it's, oh, I've, I've had it with them. And so I'm like, nope, now I'm going to prove to them, like, yes, look. I put it in there with you guys. There's no reason. One, the, th the two things that drive me the most crazy, though, is one, when they don't scan them in um, and they, you know, just look like they haven't been brought to the post office. And two, when they scan them in and then they sit there for how many days? It's like, what? I, I don't understand that. I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense. If they're scanned in, they should go directly to, like, leaving the post office. They shouldn't sit there for five days. Anyways, calm myself down. What is everyone's all-time time favorite painting that you have done? What is everyone's all-time favorite painting that you have done? Rhonda's asking. Um, oh, and thank you, Nana. I love it, too. Um, I've used it since I opened it. All time favorite painting that I've done. Like I just said, I think it has to be um, Maddie and Maya. Um, next to that. 
Hmm, I'm not sure. I really like Nola, um, which is the New Orleans one by Mandy Manzano. Like, I love that one. That one was amazing to work on. It turned out amazing. I love the colors. Um, yeah. Elizabeth says, the last custom I got yesterday is still showing in the sorting center in China. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Mine is still Hello Beastie. I have that one. Haven't done it, but I have it. I am new to diamond painting, but I think Jessica Rabbit is my favorite so far. That's a good one. That's a popular one. Hello, Panda Girl. Um... Debbie says, I do small DPs. I love them all. I want them all. <laughs> Don't we all? Seriously. Ah! I dropped my little thing. Okay. I want to show you guys some of the new stuff I've got. Um, let me put that to the side. Okay. Some of these things, there's a few things that... I don't know if I've showed you yet, so I will show you. If I've showed you, sorry, bear with me. Um, and then I'm going to launch a new product that I have been working on for a long time. Um, so stick around because it'll be worth it, I think, anyways. In my opinion, I think it will be worth it. So, okay. Um, I don't remember if I showed this one before. It is colored pencils. And and bear with me with the dang camera. I know it's a piece of poo, but it is what I got. So, come on now. I can't actually record from my phone now because I'm at a thousand. Okay, anyways, there's a uh, color pencils. And then I've got um, Squirtle. I've only got two of these right now. Um, I only order like one or two to begin with. And then once I know like, yes, I like it. Yes, it's going to work. Yes, it's going to be something I think people will want. Then I'll go back and order more. So some of these I only have a couple of. So if you really want them, get them fast. Otherwise, you'll be waiting a little bit. So there's Squirtle. Super cute. Um, oh, real quick, too, because I'm not going to show you this because, well, I guess I could show you them really quick. But um, the papers, these papers, I did get back in stock. And... Um, I got another set in that I ordered today. So I have like 250, I think left, but they go fast. I just put these back up yesterday and, um, already sold 200 sheets. So if you want these, they go fast. I did put another whole order in because of how fast they do go. I honestly didn't know they would go that fast. Um, but if you want them like before the next three weeks, Get them soon. All right. Um, not that. Let's see. This is the, I showed this in the very beginning, but that was like very, very beginning. So I'll show it again. This is a cover minder, but it is also a wax holder. So it opens up. It is like, it's just a locket, basically, like a locket, but um, dang it. I did this earlier. I was trying to open it and I held it closed. And then now I'm trying to open it from the wrong side because I'm a dope apparently. So, okay. So there it's opened. You can put one wax here and one wax here. So if you want blue and white, I, I don't know. I don't know what you like, whatever you want, want to do. Um, so that is the front of it. And that is the back, but it will have obviously the magnet on it when I send it to you. Um, this one is really, really popular right now, and I just got more in stock. So if you're interested or if you were one of the ones that asked when they would be back in, they are back in. Come on, camera. There it goes. There it goes. Really, really pretty. These are gorgeous. Um, okay. 
Where is my whole thing? All right, here it is. Then there's this one. Let's see, then a mother. Um, Elizabeth says, my favorite so far is the pre-framed one I did for my mother-in-law for her birthday. It was a big orange flowers and a dragonfly. I just ordered one for me. I framed because it's smaller. Thank you, Debbie. She says, congrats on your 1K shine. Diamond painting camper. Welcome. Um, mine was a diamond dot Santa. My future um, Gail bought it for me after my dad died. Hubby stole it when I was done because it is because he is Santa. Uh, Ron, this is maker the Hello Beastie. Who is maker? Hello Beastie is Diamond Art Club. Yeah, and it's Mandy Benzano. Um. Okay, hold on. Sorry, guys. Elizabeth says I got a custom of my Rottweiler and my Pitbull. My daughter said it was doing. Wait, hold on. If I was doing them, I had to do one of her one-eyed black cat. I didn't get a custom of the cat though. Um, I'm back. Cat was being a <laughs> being a terror. Uh, aren't cats usually a terror? Do you glue your DP's book? Glue them or seal them, Aussie girl? Because I do. I seal them when they're done. Otherwise, you're going to lose drills and possibly get it messed up. Like, you know, dirty. Okay, I think I showed that one when I was reading. But there's that one. I love this one. It is three-dimensional. Come on now. Come on now. There it goes. So if you can see it, it's like three-dimensional. So it's really pretty. Very, very shiny. She ran off, off with my wallet. Unamused. <laughs> Oh, gracious. Um, okay. I do have the cookies in back in stock, too. I know some people were asking about those. Um, so I have the cookies and the cake both in stock right now. Um, I just dropped that one. Lovely. Okay. I have, by the way, the wash basins I have back in stock. And I also have the trash cans back in stock plus i now have a blue trash can so i have one or two of these um and if they're if they sell like the other ones do i will get more i wasn't sure if people would like the ones as much because like you know most people see the silver ones but this one reminds me i don't know why it reminds me of oscar the grouch but yeah, so this is just the, um, so it's the cover minder. If you don't know, this is a cover minder, but it's also, it does open up. And so you can put all your drill trash in there and then it stays nice on your, um, stays on your canvas. And this is the other, like, this is my number one sold item is my, um, wash basin and it is a cover minder, but it is also for your drill trash. So instead of having something sit here, that's going to flip and everything like that. Um, this, if you have a magnet on underneath side, it stays nice and still and you don't lose your drill trash all over the place. Um, I've got at least three to seal before I hang them up. I keep them in an artist portfolio right now. That's a good, that's good, um, Elizabeth, because you don't want them just out if you haven't sealed them yet. She's the biggest scaredy cat baby you'll ever meet. <laughs> Sorry, my first one lady for Japan. Okay, so... Um, those are that. Them. What the book? Let's see here. Okay. I've got, and I only have two of these as of right now. I've got The Simpsons. The Simpsons. Come on. Oh, come on, camera. Come on. There it goes. And it says, um, we are a nice, normal family. Mm -hmm, sure. Mm -hmm, yep. Yep. Um, and by the way, I'll say this now and I'll probably say it at the end. If anything you see tonight, because this is like a sneak peek of what's going to be on. So you guys get like the first peek of it. Um, if there's anything you see that you want that's not on the shop, message me right away. I will put... I will put that to the top of my list of, of the things I need to post. 
That way you can get it. Um, you'll have basically first dibs at getting it. All right, then we've got, I finally broke down and got these guys. I've been wanting to for a while, just kept not doing it, but I just, they're too cute. Too cute. Marie. There is little Marie. I love this one because isn't that a cat, right? Where it's just like, nope, I'm going to stick my nose up at you. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, She's a bit, oh, wait, hold on. Okay, I just ordered my first one waiting to come. Um, oh, yes, I bought the portfolio. You told me about it. I think Ariel told me about it. Oh, cool, Panda Girl. So you ended up getting that one. Um, yeah, she mentioned it. She was talking about it in the last week's live. Panda Girl says, yes, I hurried and bought one. Such a good idea. Thank you. Um, Elizabeth says, the pit bull I rescued in February probably weighs twice what she does. I thought he was getting fat, and the vet laughed at me and said she's bulking up and muscle weighs more than fat. Very true. Mystical says, did you put Tinkerbell in the shop? Yes. Tinkerbell is up in the shop. Um, Tamara says, will some of the butterflies colors be restocked? Yes, Tamara, they are coming. Um, I have numerous sets that are coming in the mail. I, I can never say when because sometimes it takes them a week. Sometimes it takes them three weeks. Sometimes it takes them six. So it just depends. But yes, I do have them coming. Um, if there's a particular one that you're interested in, let me know the model number and I can just pull it right away that way and message you. So that way you won't, you know, risk losing it. Um, these ones I did post or show last week and they sold um, before I even got them posted. So I did. I have um, the hummingbird. So there's the hummingbird. And then there's the ladybug. So I have two of each of these right now. So if you are one of those that didn't get the hummingbird last time and wanted it. Um, okay, here is. Look out, Ariel. Look at this one. Um, hold on. Bye. Bye, Ash Inc. Have a good night. Um, Little Miss Pris, I can't find the squirtle in your shop. Nope. So Little Miss uh, Pris. This is what I call like a sneak peek and not everything is up there yet. So if there is something you want, like if you want Squirtle, if you um, message me on Etsy right now and say, I want the Squirtle, I will put that at the top of my list and I will get it listed uh, tonight or tomorrow morning and I will message you as soon as it's listed. That way, whoever is in my live on Saturday nights, you guys kind of get the first pick. And if you tell me, yeah, I absolutely for sure want that one, I hope I can hold it for you guys and let you know, hey, I'm posting it. Go get it now. So, yeah. Um, yeah, to the butterflies, Jesse and I both want one. Um, I know, isn't that hummingbird beautiful, Sariba? I love the hummingbird. Okay, here is the um, little mermaid let's see if i can get my camera i know it's a pain i gotta go all up nice and close and personal to get it to focus come on it's a little bit sparkly so i think my camera's like what are you doing to me right now come on camera you've got to be kidding me it doesn't take this long usually let's see if i go back real slow there we go there we go. I think that's the best we're going to get it. So it's a mermaid and it's like got those blue like sparklies. It's gorgeous. I love this one. Yeah, very, very pretty. I know um, Ariel is obsessed with mermaids. That's why I said, you know, when will the Simpsons be in the shop? Um, I can put that one in tonight. Let me grab my pen and I'm going to put my list here. Of order, I'm going to do the Simpsons when I'm done on here, and I'm going to do um, Squirtle and the Hummingbird. Should that one's easy to put back in because I already have it. It I just need to take it off. It's sold out, so um, so that will be in there tonight, Miss Coffee. 
within a, probably an hour of me being uh, being done, I'll have that in. And I'm going to put a couple of these guys up together because they're small little ones, but they're beautiful colors. I love these colors. Now, there is only one of each of these because these were, again, like when I find stuff out on clearance or closeout, like I grab it. And so I can't always get more, but look how beautiful these colors are, you guys. I love these ones. Okay. Uh, Miss Coffee says, funny, talked about last night. I'm so when they arrive. Um, where did you get your tumbler? Will it keep hot and cold? Yes, it does, Elizabeth. And it's from, um, um, oh my gosh, I've been saying it all night. Extreme Designs. Um, and if you go and find the video where I unbox it, um, it is in that the link for their Facebook group is in that, um, description or if somebody has it right now, um, you can put that up too. That's fine. I'm not sure if I know how to message you in your shop first time using it. Okay. Little Miss Pris, I'm going to put Squirrel up tonight. So within an hour of me being done, I will have that up there. So just check it um, within an hour of me, you know, signing off tonight. I will have that one on tonight. Okay. Then we've got a little tiger face. There we go. Tiger face. Um, this one, I actually, these aren't new, but, but I have them back in. Um, there's three or four different colors. They're like, kind of look like galaxy ones. And these sold out really quickly. So I do have more of those back in. So I'm just letting y'all know um, with that one. All right, where's my next pieces at? Sorry, I'm trying to find it. I had it. I had it. Where did it go? Nope, up there, up there, up there. Where are they at? Are they on here? Nope. Sorry, hold on. Bear with me. I'm just trying to find the... Um, the other one that I had. There was a whole nother section. There it is. Okay. Okay. I got one of these. And that's all I will have because, again, this is was one of those on a closeout, whatever. Come on, camera. Focus. So it's a moon. And then um, the sun. Uh, a mermaid in a, like a, I don't know, little diamond wheel. Little mermaid sitting. Come on now. There we go. Kind of, kind of, sort of. You guys can get the gist. It's a mermaid. There it goes. Mermaid kind of sitting in a wheel. Um, if you like purple, isn't that one pretty? I love that one. And I got the cross. And this one is really sparkly. If you like your sparkles, then this is for you. Sparkles. And then we got this one. This one is a one time only because that's all there was. Um, this is a one time only. If you like gaudy, like jewel, like, you know, sparkly stuff, then that one's for you. Um, here's uh, this one. This one is little, but super cute. I love little bees. So there's that. 
Dragonfly. I have two of these. And I really like the colors. They're little like gems and they're like purple and blue and like a teal color. They're really, really pretty. Um, <laughs> it's copy. Want, 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 want. Um, okay. Hummingbird. I mean, not hummingbird. I was reading hummingbird <laughs> as I put this up. Um, Miss Copy, you want me to put the moon in tonight? I'll get that up too. The moon and the sun. I'll put those in tonight. Uh, Nicole, yes, they have a Facebook page. Moon and Simpsons need them in my life. <laughs> I will get those up tonight. Little pineapple. Gold with like diamonds, jewels. Okay, this next one is a um, one I will be getting more of now that I know they are awesome. One of them is already sold. The other one I have, unfortunately, it has a um, like a little malfunction. I'm not, not a malfunction, a defect. It's a little defect. And I'm trying to find it so I can show you. I will put it, if you're interested in it, I will show it. And I will show the defect clearly. And it will be um, like marked down. But I will be getting more of them. The but what the one that's like in the condition, the girl has been waiting for some time. Two of this. So I have more of these ordered already. So they should be here. Hopefully it won't take them as long as it took Toothless to come the first time. Now the one that has the little um defect. Um, it is just like a little, like, it looks like when they poured the resin, there might've been like a bubble over the eye or something. Um, I mean, you can still, it's still obviously toothless and it's still adorable, but it does have, um, just that little bit of a defect to it. So it will be marked down and it, the, in the picture, it'll be clear. Um, I want defect too. What? Nicole, you want the one with the defect? I know, he is so cute. So because I got him today, I saw, yes, he's going to work. Um, actually, he's going to work really well, perfectly, easily. It's a flat back, so nice and easy. Um, I am going to, you want both of them? All right. Um, I am going, I will have more of these because I, I ordered quite a few of them because Toothless is adorable and, I mean, who doesn't like to list? Um, okay. Now we're going to switch gears a little bit. This is, um, so that's it for the cover minders. But I have been working on a project for a long time. And um, hold on, sorry, Nana says hot or not. Yeah, I think it's, um, are you talking about the tumbler, Nana? I think you could do both. Nicole says, I need to go breathe now. Elizabeth says, thank you, Nana. Um, I'm so tired of hot Pepsi and cold coffee. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I had to take a drink. Okay, so this next is a project I've been working on for a while. Um, this is the other reason I haven't had as much time to dive paint because I've been working on these for months now um, in my kind of spare time that I have just a little bit of. And I am going to show you some of them. They're not all done. They will be put in the shop as they are done. Um, I probably will not list them until Monday. Um, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. But most likely it will be Monday. But they are going to be, they are little um, to-go cover reminder holders. So they are going, the reason that it's taking so long is each one is individualized and each one is, um, they're hand painted. So um, they take a little bit longer to do than just, you know, yeah, it should, they just take a while. So I've got this one. 
I've got this one. Oh, and inside of them, um, everyone is different inside as well. So, um, yeah, they're all in whatever one you get, you're not going to find one like that. We'll say there will be ones that will be similar, like there'll be butterflies and, you know, they'll have different like maybe themes kind of things. Um, but they're all going to be different because I there's no way for me to duplicate it anyways. Um, so there's those. To, and if there is one you see that you, um, like Sariba says, I want the first one. So if you want one, make sure you uh, message me either on Facebook or on my Etsy so that I um, can message you when I post it. Um, this one is a Seattle Seahawks one. Uh, let me move that over. So, and when I say there are ones that will be similar, this is what I mean. So, like, here's one. And then this one is similar to that one. Now, I only have a couple in this, um, in this shape. And this is more for, like, your small cover minders you can put, you know, in a line kind of a thing. Yeah, so they're cover minor storage or whatever whatever you want to do with it. That's up to you. Um, but they're like the the reason I started them was cover minor storage. And I got this idea from my um where is it at? Let me grab one. I don't even know where mine was. I threw one of them away because I don't need it no more. Um let's see if I can grab it here. Hold on. Oh, goodness. My magnets come in. Oh, come on now. I'm trying to grab it. Hold on, guys. Sorry. And then I'm going to break my wrist trying to reach it. Okay, so my magnets come in these storage containers. And I found myself using them for my cover minders. And, like, I would make an order. And I would say, like, okay, somebody bought this one and that one. And so I would put that to the side. And then they would stay together and they would be you know, on there really well. And I was like, man, I wish I could somehow get these without that on them. And then it kind of just snowballed from there. So that's kind of how I came up with that. Um, but yeah, so they're, like I said, four cover minders was the idea purpose, but that doesn't mean that that's um, the only thing you can do with it. Now, this one, like, there will be some that will be discounted. Like, this one, it does have a defect to it right there. You can see that. So, there's those one. There's. Per and this is, I don't know why the lighting is really bad. This is like a, um, almost like a royal purple. I don't know why the camera, the lighting is so weird on that one. Um, says, I've got a run shine like him. Thanks for hosting. Congratulations on 1K. Thank you so much, Nana. Have a good night and thank you for hanging out. Um, this one is, I haven't decided on this one if it's done yet or if I'm going to add a little bit to it, but this is just a little like purple mermaid tail um, with a little bit of bling bling to it. Um, and then we've got a sea turtle. Thank you, Mallory. I appreciate it. Um, then we've got a, um, there we go, mermaid with a fish and starfish and and that is also a purple. I don't know why my camera is not showing how pretty of a purple it is, but it's a pretty purple. Um, and then, again, this one, not sure if that's going to be done. I might put, like, a word there. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll just have to see. Um, oh, and then there's one more. 
And this is like just like a sparkly purple, like a tiara kind of a thing. So um, the sea turtle is everything. Can you reshow the Seahawks? Yes. There is the Seahawks one. So those are the new um, kind of debuting them tonight. I will be working on these as I get more. Um, Tamara, really they are cute. Patty Box folder. No, they're for cover minders. So you can put your, because um, they're um, a magnetic, Thing. So you can just put your cover miners and store them. That way you don't lose them and all that good stuff. Um, or you can put whatever else you want in them. Like I was showing my grandma and she was saying she wanted one to put like a little sewing kit in there to put in her purse. Like um, I have one actually right now that I had put some um, gum and medicine in my purse to put in so that I knew right where it was if I needed it that kind of thing. But um, when, I, like I said, when I originally kind of came up with it, it was because I was using this, this tin one that I got from my magnets and I was using it for orders and with cover miners and putting them in there. And so um, I was like, but they're so ugly and I don't, I don't want to, you know, sell something that has a, a logo like that on them. So I started painting them. So um, and yeah, so these, I've been working on them for a long time. That is, they, you know, this is what I have right now. I don't know how quick I'll get more out just because like I said, they do take a long time cause they're all, you know, hand painted differently. Um, there's not going to be two that are the same. And then on the inside, they also have, um, some decoupage going on decoupage, whatever you want to call that. Um, so that is Yes, so those will be up um, on Monday. If there was one that you saw that you're interested in, let me know, message me, and we can um, work it out so that you can have first dibs on that. But that is all I have for tonight for you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. Um, if I needed to see anything that was really important that you wrote in chat, make sure that you message, message me um, just in case I didn't miss it, um, diamond artworks. And I know my link has been put up there numerous times and remember everything that is, um, that everything that all the proceeds right now are going towards getting Maddie a new service dog. So, um, that being said, oh, and don't forget if you, want anything that you saw tonight that isn't in the shop um make sure you message me so that i know then i can put it to the top of my list right now i'm going to be putting the simpsons squirtle the hummingbirds moon the sun um so if there's anything else you guys want in there you know i always just kind of move it um the other the ronda the other the other nfl teams i have ordered they're coming i can't tell you when because again i don't know when, but I ordered them after I took down um, your guys' requests for other NFL teams, um, cover miners, and then these guys, I'm working on it. Th these are harder to do with other um, teams, but I'm working on it. So if you have a request that you want a different team on there, let me know, and I can definitely, um, definitely, definitely work on that. Um, and... Nicole, don't worry. Toothless will be in there tonight for you as well. So watch for that. And I'll try to message you, Nicole, as soon as it's up for you. Okay. Oh, dragonfly. All right. Dragonfly. Okie dokie. Um, Raiders and Steelers. All right. I'm going to write that down up here. Raiders and Steelers. Okay. Um, anything else you guys feel free to message me. Um, can you do personalized tins? Yes, I actually can. So if, if there's something you want, Angie, um, let me know. I also can do like letters if you guys want, like, you know, like 
my first name starts with an E, Elizabeth, I could do an E. Um, if your name is short enough, I could try to get your name on there. We'll have to see. I do have some that um, are drying right now that I can't bring over here, but that will have some like gold diamonds on them. Um, some that will say shine, uh, different things like that. So, but with that being said, don't forget you guys, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem and smarter than you think. I almost forgot my own ending. Um, <laughs> but with that, you guys, don't forget to keep on shining and I will see you guys next time. Bye.